In this video, I'm gonna fix the Falcon. G'day guys, welcome to another video. The car is back from Max Performance and it has been tuned, but unfortunately it turns out the Welsh plug on the back of this engine is no good. It's no longer holding any more coolant. It, yeah, just spits it straight out. So that meant that I needed a trailer to get the car home, but they did finish the tune off and the car made 340 kilowatts. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'd know that uh, this, this car previously had a red top and that made 330 kilowatts. So even though the engine didn't make as much power as I thought it would, um, being a green top, having more compression, I was expecting a bit more power, but yeah, the turbo is just holding me back. Even though it didn't make what I thought it would, it wasn't a complete waste of time because this is the first engine I have ever reassembled myself. You know, new bearings, uh, did the rings, all new bolts and gaskets and all that stuff. It lasted on the dyno and nothing major happened. So to me, that's a win. And in this video, I'm gonna attempt uh, fixing the Welsh plug, which is again, something I've never changed before. So it's time to get the car up on stands and take the transmission out. Going to do some voiceovers in this video. To get the transmission out, I need to try and get the car up as high as possible. BTRs have a pretty big bow housing, so I need the car up as high as I can get it. First few things being removed, the tail shaft, the starter motor, the handbrake cable needs to be removed because it runs between the trans mount and the output housing of the BTR. Undoing my manky homemade B&M shifter bracket. Removing the flex plate bolts next. Dropping the rear of the BTR so I can get to the top bell housing bolts. But I'm about to discover that my dump pipe is in the way, so I'll have to remove that as well. Now I can use every half inch socket extension I own to undo the top bell housing bolts. using the trans jack to support the BTR while I remove the bottom bow housing bolts. And it's out! But it fell off the jack and made a little mess. Before I go removing the flex plate, I wanted to see if I could get the Welsh plug out with the flex plate still bolted on, but no, no I couldn't. Barrows do suffer a problem at higher power levels where the flex plate bolts yeet themselves out. So to stop this from happening, I'll put a couple of tack welds on the bolt, which I am now regretting. Yep, that's where she's leaking from. While the BTR is out, I thought it would be a good opportunity to install a 3500 RPM stall converter. Yeah. 
So unfortunately I have a little problem. The torque converter that I've purchased does not fit the BTR in this car properly. It is actually made for an EF and EL model BTRs. So the BTR in this car is a 91 LE and uh, this gearbox here is a 93 LE. They have different pumps and therefore the impeller hub on the torque converter is a different length. I did measure the setback and it, it wasn't a large enough gap, but I just tried to bolt it in and send it anyway. Unfortunately, I can't. The flex plate is hard up against that torque converter and I can't spin anything to, to line up the holes. So what I'm gonna attempt to do is just take the oil pump out of this BTR and put it in, in this car. You might be thinking it would be easier to just put that gearbox in the car and you're right, but I paid 50 bucks for that off marketplace and I have no idea if it works. The gearbox in this car is, is really good. I've put all new seals in it. It's got new bushings on the output shaft. Uh, I think it's a safer bet to just swap oil pumps and, and go that way. It's also really hard to get the gearbox out of this car on the jack because the car's not high enough. So I am going to attempt changing the oil pumps with the gearbox under the car and just hope it doesn't fall off again. So yep, yeah, let's give it a go and see what happens. Not the right hammer, I know, but it's all I have. You never told me you were gonna turn your back today. You never told me you were gonna get even this way. You never told me all the things you are. New gasket and the oil pump is in. You just look me in the eyes and lie. Ordered this new B&M shift bracket from Mr. BTR, just to see if it shifts any better than the brackets that I made. Box is back in. I've reinstalled the starter motor, the handbrake cable, the new shift bracket is in. Just got to put my shaft in. Up, up, to the left, to the left, in, in, oh, yep, yeah. ah, oh, there it goes. Dump pipe is in, filling it up with some coolant and some trans fluid. I'm filling the box up with some TQ95. You want to stay away from other ATF fluids, TQ95 is made specifically for BTR transmissions. Time for a test start. Running great and no leaks. Alright guys, that's going to wrap it up. The car's all done and back together. You're probably wondering what's next. Uh, I really want to take it to the drags and see what kind of quarter mile time it's going to do now that it's got a high stall. I'm pretty sure yesterday was the last test and tune for the year. So yeah, it's probably going to be uh, a next year video. Um, but in the meantime, I've got a couple of weeks off. I'm going to try and do as many videos as I can in that period because next year I would like to release videos more frequently. Um, it is a bit hard to try and do them you know, one a week. I just don't have the time for that at the moment. So, you know, a nice goal would be to, to do like one a month and keep it consistent. So uh, it's time to go and take this for a test drive now. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Mm-hmm. Looks like this transmission's coming back out.